When Betty Boop made her first appearance in 1930, she so closely resembled popular American singer Helen Kane that she sued Fleischer Studios, the company responsible for creating Betty Boop, claiming they exploited her image. Everything from Kane's voice, look, and onstage personality can be seen represented in the Betty Boop character. However, during trial, the studio defended themselves by arguing that Helen Kane had actually copied her signature style from the lesser-known singer Baby Esther Jones. The former manager of Baby Esther was even brought on to stand, where he claimed that in 1928, Helen Kane had seen Baby Esther perform live and copied her style. Baby Esther had passed away before the lawsuit was solved, so the former manager brought in the only known recording of Baby Esther and played it for the court. The case was quickly dismissed with Fleischer Studio winning. South Park creator Trey Parker named a character from the show after his college fiance, Leanne Adamo. The character in question is Leanne Cartman, mother of Eric Cartman, who is known throughout the series to be quite promiscuous. Her past is filled with many illicit acts, such as prostitution, nude modeling, and sleeping with nearly every adult character in the show, male or female. The reasoning behind Parker's decision to name his Leanne Cartman after his ex fiance was because she had reportedly had an affair during the engagement ending their relationship, all of which happened years before the creation of South Park, so it is fair to say Parker held the grudge. The superhero costume designer Edna Mode from the animated movie The Incredibles is based on the real-life costume designer Edith Head, who was well-known in the movie industry for her larger-than-life personality and for the extreme pride she takes in her work. Edith has been quoted saying, I hate modesty, and I am the best of the best, though it does sound like something Edna Mode would have said. Milhouse Van Houten, from the TV show The Simpsons, known for being Bart Simpson's gullible best friend, was based on the character Paul Pfeiffer from The Wonder Years, played by child actor Josh Saviano. His big nose, nearsightedness, and devious nature were all borrowed from Pfeiffer to help create Milhouse. Maurice Tillet, born in 1903, was a French professional wrestler better known by his ring name, the French Angel. At age 17, Tillet was diagnosed with a rare condition called acromegaly, which means that the bones in his body will suffer from overgrowth and thickening, giving him a unique ogre-like look. Little did Tillet know that nearly 50 years after his death, DreamWorks Animation would use his likeness to create the lovable ogre, Shrek. What do the classic horror characters Norman Bates, Leatherface, and Buffalo Bill have in common? Their character's inspiration, real-life killer Ed Gein, also known as the Mad Butcher. Between 1947 and 1952, Gein would break into local cemeteries so he could steal bodies of the recently deceased. He would take the bodies home, chop them up, and use the body parts to make different types of souvenirs and furniture. He even made a full skin suit out of a woman, and many masks using skin from the faces. Later, when stealing bodies wasn't good enough for Gein, he began to take his own victims and cannibalize them. It is speculated that Ed Gein's obsession with the dead was started after his brother died while they were both young, and was further pushed after his abusive mother forced him to live an isolated childhood. If you are unfamiliar with the movies, Leatherface and his family were cannibals who regularly made human furniture and wore human masks. Buffalo Bill and Norman Bates suffered a traumatic childhood due to their mothers. Bill was abandoned at an abusive foster home, and later grew up to be a serial killer obsessed with building a human skin suit, while Bates was abused by his mother for the majority of his life, and became a killer after she passed away. George Lucas, the creator of the Star Wars franchise, ordered his creative department to create a space mobster using the likeness of actor Sidney Greenstreet, who was always being casted as the classic fat guys in movies. The team then presented George with the ghastly space mobster Jabba the Hutt. When J.K. Rollins wrote the popular book series Harry Potter, she modeled the short-tempered potion teacher Severus Snape after a chemistry teacher she had in high school, named John Nettleship, who also had a reputation for being quite short-tempered. Nettleship was also J.K. Rollins' mother's boss, so Rollins must have heard a lot about him when her mother got home from work. 
During the creation of the character Aladdin for the 1992 film, the Disney animators looked to use Tom Cruise as inspiration. Initially, they tried to use Michael J. Fox, but found he lacked the sex appeal they wanted. Eventually, many of Tom Cruise's mannerisms made it into the film as well, like his egotistical attitude. Mike Judge, the creator of the TV show Beavis and Butthead, actually used the likeness of two of his university teachers, Professor David Kleinfeld for Beavis and Jim Branson for Butthead. Although the names Beavis and Butthead were actually from two friends Judge had when he was younger.